Hi, my name is Theo. I was born in Rwanda and grew up in the Netherlands. In 1994, my family fled the country. We lived in several different countries before we got reunited again in 1999 and where we eventually got asylum in the Netherlands, aka Nederland, aka Holland, this tiny country in Europe. I've lived in the Netherlands ever since where I've gotten my education, my friends and my overall world experience. But my norms and values, those I got from my parents. At times I feel like a mixed child with Rwandan and Dutch parents, but I'm technically not. Because I've lived most of my life in the Netherlands, I knew very little about my birth country, Rwanda, and that bothered me somehow for many years. Last year, I decided to move to Rwanda and started business here, a gym, which was going, going pretty well until Corona hit. In this video, I would like to share with you eight reasons why I moved from the Netherlands to Rwanda, from Amsterdam to Chigali, from Amsterdam West to Nyarutarama. Okay, let's get started. This is a long video, bear with me. If you like it, all I ask of you is to like it and subscribe by hitting the bell notification and uh, watch until the end. I have a surprise for you. Reason number one, the sun. I was kind of hesitant to mention this reason because I find it to be kind of uh, superficial but to me it was one of the main reasons for me to come here to Rwanda. After living in a cold ass country like the Netherlands for 20 years where every little sunshine is treated like a miracle, I've learned to appreciate the abundant sun of Chigali. My cousin didn't understand why I always mention that the sun is shining with a big smile on my face but then again they don't know how it is to live with the cold with a real European cold, not this Chigali cold. I genuinely love the sun and I will never take it for granted again. Reason number two, stagnant life. After living in the Netherlands for 20 years, I had built up a pretty good life considering where I came from. I was working since I was 12, there was money in the bank, free healthcare, education, and a good passport. But for some reason, this didn't, didn't feel that great. There was no real meaning or purpose in front of my life except work until retirement. But I knew that I always had bigger dreams, big ambitions to achieve something great, to be successful in something, and somehow I just felt like the Netherlands was just a misfit for me. Plus, I realized that all successful people from the Netherlands lived outside of the Netherlands. So, it was time for me to move. Reason number three unlimited opportunities. Growing up, my father was a doctor who was well known and well respected within our community. And as a child, I used to always joke that I wanted to be a doctor. The idea of helping people on being financially well off always appealed to me. However, to make a long story short, I did not get into medical school, but luckily I realized that I could help even more people and be financially well off through business. So I searched far and wide what type of people to help and what kind of business to start. It was not until I went to Rwanda for my internship that I realized that Rwanda has a lot of people that could use my help, more than the Netherlands. And when it came to business opportunities, well, those were abundantly. I would just like to invite you to come to Rwanda and see it for yourself. For me, I have a passion in doing sport and I have a lifelong dream of opening my own gym. It was during this internship that I realized that there's a 100% chance that I can actually turn my passion into my business by opening my own gym here in Rwanda. So that's what I did. I packed my stuff and moved to Kigali to make this a reality. Reason number four, inequality. There's a lot of inequality in the world, especially if you compare Europe to Africa. This is causing for many people to risk their entire lives to cross a very dangerous sea just to make it in Europe. As someone who feels like he's from both worlds, this touched me a lot. It's like having a poor father and a rich mother. It doesn't make sense to me. Me moving to Rwanda with my education, my knowledge and my money is my way of helping against this inequality. Just a tiny bit. 
Reason number five, racism. The Netherlands have a deep and institutionalized racism society. This means like the people you encounter or work with are not per se racist, but the system that you both live in has something against you, especially if you're someone of color or just like an immigrant from Morocco or Turkey in my experience. You might not see it at first, but you eventually notice it if you live there long enough. Personally, the more I advanced in life like by, by getting a higher education, getting a far better paying job or just living in a better neighborhood, the less people I saw around me who looked like me. Now, it has gotten much better over the years, but there are still some big, big signs that we still have a long way to go. I have since learned that there is a lot of institutionalized institutional. Ah, ah, ah. I have since learned that there's a lot of institutionalized racism in many white countries. For someone like me, who came from a genocide-torn country, who has lived in multiple countries and continents, and is very motivated to make it in life, racism was not going to stop me. However, there comes a time in life where you have to ask yourself, do I want to keep fighting this battle? Do I want to live in this world for the rest of my life? Is this the kind of place I want to raise my children in? No. Oh yeah. No country is perfect, of course, but you know which country that doesn't have institutionalized racism? Rwanda. Family is very important in our culture, but my brothers and I grew up without knowing 90% of our extended families of cousins, uncles, and aunties. And we have a lot of them. Moving to Rwanda has brought me so much closer to my family. Even though we were not able to be in each other's lives when we were growing up, now at least we get to be in each other's new lives as adults and parents as we continue to grow this family tree of ours. Reason number seven, not being a minority. All my life I've lived as a minority, always adjusting to the majority. As a teenager, this was cool, but as an adult, this just makes life so much harder. In Rwanda, I am part of the majority. I can sit in the bus and not get noticed by every new passenger that steps in. 99% of the rich people look like me. Restaurants have food that I grew up eating and I never have to check which kind of music is going to be played when I go out and I love this. On a side note though, what I do miss about being a minority in the Netherlands is being one of the top dancers at every party that I went to. And finally, reason number eight, I want to build wealth. There. I said it, I want to be rich. I want to be rich in Rwanda and Africa though. According to all the rich people that I follow, there's a high correlation between how many people you help with your product or service to how rich you can get. If it is up to me, I will help every Rwandan here in Rwanda. Western countries have had their run. It's now Africa's turn to prosper. And by the looks of how many people I'm seeing who are immigrating back to the continent, I believe it's only a matter of time. All that is needed are people like you to start investing in Africa. So, what are you waiting for? I do have one more bonus reason. To be honest, this was not part of my top reasons why I came to Rwanda, but it has quickly become one of the main reasons why I cannot leave Rwanda. It has become the one thing that I really love and adore and I really would not like to miss anymore in my life. And that is living in a black society. I have found out that I have a deep and profound love for black people and everything involving black people. Whether it's their business, their skin tone, their values, their attitude, or just their humor or dance skills, I simply love it. Maybe it's because I did not grow up in a black country, but living in, in this black country called Rwanda has made me so proud, it has made me so happy to be an African black man, that it has helped me love myself and understand myself much better. Do you know how it feels to wake up and realize that my president is black, my driver is black, my lawyer is black, my doctor is black, my cab driver is black, my motor rider is black, my neighbor is black, my landlord is black, my business partner is black, my clients are black, my money is black, the news anchor is black, the radio host is black, the music is black, and my YouTube subscribers are black. It's simply wonderful. You know, this reminds me of a certain song that I heard many years ago. I should make like a remix out of it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe by hitting the bell notification. 
If you'd like to support me, please consider donating on my crowdfunding campaign that I started. It's linked below. And again, I thank you for your attention and I'd like to see you all in the next video. Ramuche. My president is back. My government too. I'll be goddamn if my barber ain't too. Shall I make one? Mm -hmm.